Have you ever been swayed by a box of cookies that say they're healthy and natural? Or maybe a TV ad that shows a soft drink as refreshing and also that the person is having lots of fun? And when you listen to your teacher, a person in authority, they can persuade you to do something like sign up for limited spots for after-class tutoring. Those are just a few examples of everyday persuasion. It's found in all areas of life, from school to work and everything in between. One of the main reasons behind persuasion today is social proof. We want things that we see other people have. It's how Instagram influencers get you to buy stuff. According to the website, Side Player, persuasion plays a part in everyday life, such as when you're applying for a job, getting people to listen to your ideas at work, or asking for a raise. Apart from everyday instances, there are also unique situations where people use persuasion. In this video, we'll be looking at how persuasion works, the fascinating ways cults persuade people to join them, how advertising uses it to get people to buy things, and the power of authority. But it's not all bad. There's also positive persuasion too. And of course, we'll tell you how you can resist it. So without further ado, here are three ways persuasion can happen and how to fight it off. So how does it work? Psychologist Robert Cialdini, an expert on persuasion, spent three years studying how people persuade others to buy things or do things. In an article in Stanford Social Innovation Review, he says there are six rules to persuasion. Rule number one, reciprocity. If someone does something for you, you'll feel obligated to repay them. Number two, scarcity. Things seem more valuable when there isn't much of them or much time. For example, in sales, when you see only five left in stock, buy now. Number three, authority. There's an expert or someone with authority around, you will often go with what they say. Number four, consistency. People are often pressured to continue to stick with something once they've committed to it or made a choice. Number five, liking. People say yes to people who they like or who are similar to them. And number six, social proof. When others are going along with something, you're more likely to as well. Cults. Very Well Mind defines persuasion as when a person or entity tries to influence others to change their beliefs or behaviors. And coercive persuasion, AKA brainwashing, is what may occur in a cult. According to The New Yorker, the term brainwashing was used in connection with cults in the early 1970s. Some believe that people join cults in proportion to the perceived uncertainty of an environment. The more out of control we feel our situation or our life is, the more likely we are to put our beliefs into others. And people are attracted to cults because it has an idealistic vision that's appealing and keeps people in them longer than you'd think. People have a hard time leaving these cults possibly because of psychologist Leon Festinger's theory of cognitive dissonance. He outlines how we feel uncomfortable or unpleasant when something contradicts our firmly held beliefs. Psychologist Kelton Rhodes says the environment or immediate situation exerts an overwhelming influence on our behavior. There doesn't seem to be any reliable personality trait that predicts people who join cults, but there are situational factors that make people more susceptible, such as loneliness, like moving to a new place, depression, and uncertainty or upheaval in life, like starting college. These situations cause us to look for simple solutions, which cults provide through authority, structure, and social closeness with others. These are all things that most of us look for in our lives without realizing it. According to psychologist and cult expert, Margaret Thaler Singer, cults thrive when society is in turbulent periods, such as social and political unrest, and when the rules and structure of society have broken down. Advertising. According to The Guardian, companies use persuasion to get you to buy things by making you think you're getting a bargain when you're really not. Sneaky, right? They set a high price on purpose and then put it on sale so you think you're getting a deal, but really the company is getting the price they originally wanted. They also make you wanna buy more things by having a scarcity rule in place. You know, those popular shopping websites when they advertise there are only five left in stock, it persuades you to buy the item because this might be your last chance to get it before it's all gone. Advertising companies urging people to buy things is persuasion. It has a powerful influence on our daily lives and society in general. Authority. When it comes down to it, we respect people who are experts. We're influenced by a toothpaste that says dentist recommended because dentists are experts and so we trust their recommendations. It saves us time and energy when we don't have to be an expert on a subject and can rely on those who already are. 
And if the item you got wasn't as good as you were told, then you also have someone to blame it on. Psychologist Stanley Milgram, famous for his well-known shock experiments, discovered that we're all surprisingly obedient to those in a position of authority. According to Simply Psychology, in part, obedience involves a hierarchy of power. So the person ordering you to do something has a higher status than you receiving the order. How to resist it. According to Psychology Today, not every persuasion technique will work every time. It depends on the context and requires careful planning. Simply knowing these principles of persuasion can help you not only become more persuasive yourself, but to recognize when you're being influenced. And just a reminder from Very Well Mind that persuasion isn't all negative. It can be used for good, like getting people to recycle or improve their health by quitting smoking. Learning more about persuasion can help you be more persuasive too. Research has shown that having a confident tone of voice makes you more persuasive, even if you don't feel like you are. Sounding like you are will make people more likely to go along with what you're saying. As the father of influence, Robert Cialdini says, understanding the rules of influence, how they work and how to use them can help you be more persuasive and avoid being taken advantage of. Do you have a story to share about persuasion? Let us know. And as always, look out for Psy for more fascinating psychology content. Thanks for watching.